So I'm wondering what you've got me playing. Well, this is a game, as you can see, called Benthic Love. I, I can see that. It yes. is an anglerfish dating sim. Well, now you see, that makes sense. Yes. Um, see, that's what I thought it was, but I didn't want to just say. Uh, benthic is a word that relates to uh, the habitats, the... Um, What's the word? The uh... I think you mean a benthic zone, where a benthic zone is the ecological region at the lowest level of a body of water, such as an ocean or a lake, including the sediment surface and some subsurface layers. I guess. I guess. Yeah. I, I guess you could say that if you had Wikipedia open. I don't. <laughs> you absolutely don't, no sir. No sir. No. Uh, hit Let's stop. start the game. Yeah. You're a young male angler anglerfish, only a few centimeters long. If you knew what humans were, you might know that they refer to you as a member of the suborder of... That word. That word. But you do not know what humans are. Your whole life, you have only known the darkness of the ocean depths. You do not know how long you have been alive. How could you? Every day is the same inky cold darkness. Darkness imprisoning me. All that I see, anglerfish everywhere. <laughs> Recently, though, you have reached maturity, and for the first time, you start to feel hunger. Deep down... You know that this means you must find a female anglerfish. You have a hunger. A hunger for the lady. I want to become a pair of testicles hanging off a lady anglerfish. <clears throat> Doesn't everyone? Well, exactly. Yeah. Lacking the jaw muscles to successfully hunt, you will need a female to supply you with food. How will she do this? Well, you fuse into her, essentially becoming a part of her. Your identity will fade and your body will atrophy, eventually leaving behind only a lump containing your reproductive system. God, this is miserable. Yeah, if, I'm not um, feeling quite romantic, actually. Yeah, if, if the people at home, if, if you don't know about the anglerfish reproductive system... That's basically what happens. Go look it up on Wikipedia. It's fucking messed up. Yeah, a bit like anglerfish. Yes. But you will live, and in exchange, your genetic material will be available to her when she is ready to lay eggs. The prospect of losing what little identity you have is frightening. But then in, the, but then so is starving to death. Evolution has been kind enough to provide you with an incredible sense of smell, as we'll let you find a mate in the vast empty sea. With a grim determination, you swim out into the abyss. Okay, so make your decision. What uh, do you want to do? You can smell, smell the, the area. area. Using your amazing olfactory organs, you search the surrounding waters for noticeable scents. To the west, you detect a number of faint smells. To the east, you detect a new, almost joyful smell. To the north, you detect a very familiar odour. So where do you want to go? I'm going to go north. I'm going to go north. As you swim through the abyss, familiar scents grow stronger and stronger. It isn't long before you're able to pinpoint its identity. It's another anglerfish, a male, like you. Hey. As he comes into view, he turns and notices you. He swims over to greet you. Hey, didn't expect to run into anyone. How's it going? I'm doing alright. You're looking for a mate, I suppose. Yeah, have you seen any? As a matter of fact, I have. If you go east from here, you'll find warmer waters. There's a volcanic vent there. From there, you should pick up her scent. He's being awfully helpful. Well, you know, he's, he's a helpful anglerfish. Why don't you mate with her? Hmm, I just I just don't really feel like I'm ready. Hey, sure, I ain't gonna pressure you. Can, can I ask you a question? Yes. Are, are you worried about losing yourself after you mate? No. Oh, it's, it's probably just me then. I don't know why, it's something just so sad about an anglerfish legitimately having some kind of existential crisis. I am trying not to think about it, really. <laughs> I wonder if it's worth it, if, if it's really worth losing everything I am just to mate. But if you don't think it's a problem, I, I guess I'm just overthinking it. Well, don't take my word for it. Uh, it's okay to be worried. Thank you. It just feels so lonely when I'm the only one who seems to feel this way. I feel really bad. <laughs> You're not alone. I, I know. Thank you. I'm glad I ran into you out here. It felt good to talk to someone. To some fish. Some fish. The male angler looks around nervously. He seems as if he has more he wants to say, but isn't able to come up with the words. Uh, tell me more about mating. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Do you know about the sex? <laughs> Do you mind if we talk about something else? There must be something else in our lives besides mating. Uh... So what do you like to do? Have you ever been to a whale skeleton yet? It's an impressive sight. I haven't seen any whales in person yet, but I'd like to. 
Have you ever wondered what else there or what else is up there? There's so much up there that we never see. Such a philosophical anglerfish. Other worlds. Unfortunately for an anglerfish, what would happen if it went up there is that it'd explode because the pressure's too low. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not pleasant. We should you, go sometime. You just skip over a piece of my dialogue. Yep. Oh. You, well, you wouldn't shut your fucking yap, that so... Was, that was talking about science and exploding fish. Yeah, all right. But ha, huh, yeah, we'll get right on that. You're funny, but I'm not in a hurry to suffer fatal decompression. Eh? 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 The male angler is cheered up a bit. You're enjoying talking with him too. But as fun as it is, you need to... You do feel a nagging hunger. You need to mate soon if you don't want to want to starve. I'm going to chat a little bit more. Chat a little bit more? Yeah. You're not that hungry, and you won't be able to talk to your friends anymore after you mate. There's no harm in t talking a bit more. Are, are you trying to, to romance this fish? Maybe. So you're kind of cute. Uh, I, um, thank you. Through his translucent skin, you see a flood of spreading red as the blood vessels near his skin open wide. An anglerfish is blushing at me. Oh, oh dear. I think you're rather uh, a rather handsome fish too. I'm sure you'll have no problem finding a mate in the end. Oh, what a sweetheart. But do you think, do you think it'd be wrong to not want a mate with a female angler? Not at all. I, 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 you don't know how happy that makes me. But what can we do? We can't remain together. If we don't merge into a female, then we will die. Hmm. We can merge together. Would that just be ever end up being just two pairs of testicles just floating around on their own? Yes. Oh. He, like, he looks at you in surprise. He seems to give the idea consideration, but then sadly shakes his head. That'd be the same as dying. That's not how we're supposed to mate. I'd rather have one moment that matters than countless others without you. You... you mean that? Yes. Slowly, carefully, you and the other anglerfish male pro approach each other. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 we, got, oh, oh. we got a black box this. This is getting a bit <laughs> steamy up in here. <laughs> Nothing else needs to be said between you. You have felt so unsure about yourself since reaching maturity, but now for the first time you feel secure in yourself. You've instinctively felt the desire to mate and give yourself up, but there was another pull you were never aware of before now. If you have to give yourself up to experience this, you know that you will... You know that you only want to do so with him. And somehow, you know he feels the same. <laughs> you lean forward and quickly bite him to his side. You taste the warmth of your new partner rush into you, and it washes over you, threatening to overwhelm you. A sharp, quick pain in your own side snaps you back. He's bitten into you, too. Slowly the pain turns into a rhythmic pleasure as your own blood cells feed him as well. Hmm. This is the... S this is this is getting a little bit... As, you know when you read something and you go, this isn't for me? Yeah, no, I'm <laughs> feeling that. Already you can feel your body's working. Enzymes from your mouth have already digested away the skin around your face and the flesh at his side. Before long you have both ceased to be separate entities, your bodies seamlessly merging into one fleshy lump. Instinct takes over. Fruitlessly, joyfully, you come together over and over, your new body silently spinning in the darkness of the ocean depths. You feel yourself slipping away, but as you fall deeper into oblivion, you feel a presence next to yours pulling you close. I love you. Ellipses. <laughs> this world was not made for a love like yours between anglerfish. But for you, the world is no big thing. You found love at the bottom of the world, a feat that can only ever be admired. Congratulations, ending three. Okay. Game by Mike Joff, using Ren P. Art by Sonia Hallett. Well, okay, let's go for one where, like, I, that was a good ending. That's it's interesting. Know. It's interesting. So, yeah, try, let's say, uh, yeah, you can skip through this. Yeah, um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go east. Okay. As you swim through the ocean, you notice a funny smell growing closer. What the fuck? Oh, it's a Dumbo, a, a Dumbo octopus. I was about to say that. Slowly, it appears out of the murky depths, bouncing along with its head fins, and it is a small Dumbo octopus. You watch the funny creature for a while, but eventually it is time to move on. Okay. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Smell the area. Southeast of the octopus, you smell something odd. Old, but oddly tasty. To the northwest, you smell the trail back where you came from. To the west and southwest, you detect only the faintest of odors. Uh... Where, where did I come from? Oh, you came from the... Uh... Oh, whoops. Ah. To the west you smell some sort of struggle, to the south you smell something alien, to the east you can faintly detect other smells, but you would have to get closer to know for sure. Uh, let's go east. Uh, 
To the east, you smell something harmlessly bouncing around. I guess that's the uh, the octopus. Mm -hmm. To the southeast, you smell something old but strangely tasty. To the west, you can de faintly detect other smells. You would have to get close to know for sure. Ut, you would have to get close Ut. to sure. Uh, let's go west. To the west, you smell some sort of struggle. To the south, you smell something alien. To the east, you can faintly smell other smells, but you have to get closer. Uh, you're just getting lost in the ocean now. I go south. Oh. Passed you're... by an alien smell. Lying at the bottom of the sea are bones of some completely unknown creature. It's a human! We don't know that. Looking at it, you can't imagine how it was capable of swimming. It looks <laughs> crap. You may never know the story behind this strange creature. The sea is full of mysteries. You detect two intriguing scents, one to the north, one to the south. They both smell alluring. Okay. To the north, you can smell something almost nostalgic. To the south, the smell is more alien. Let's go. Let's play it safe. Oh. <gasps> Have In I found a sultry lady? I think you might have found the most beautiful fish. In the distance, you see a faint light. Something out there is calling you. I'm just imagining it's like the Devil May Cry 4, like, boss. Yes. Where it's got, like, the sexy lady on, like, a weird anglerfish thing. Smell. So smell is intoxicating. Approach! Hey, there you hey, go. Hey, beautiful. Out of the depths swims the most beautiful fish you've ever seen. Well... Yeah. <laughs> Sprouting from the middle of her head is a long filament. Her... Elysium? Elysium? Yeah? It's actually, it is actually a modified spine from her dorsal fin, as the tip is a growth called the esca, which glows. Approach cautiously. Yeah, I'm confidently. Be cautious. You slowly swim up to her. As you approach, she turns to greet you. <laughs> I need a mate, or else I will starve to death. That's pretty much what I said to you. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, we're banned from SeaWorld. <laughs> Hi. Hello there, I was just about to go hunting. Care to join me? Wait. She's wait, got it's... remarkable diction for saying she's got a mouth like that. Mm-hmm. It gets lonely, always eating alone. Sure. Oh, but you can't eat, right? Uh, sorry, I'm so insensitive, but we can at least swim together for a little while. That sounds good, get to know each other before we start mating. You know. Oh, it's always best. Oh, absolutely. Thank you for coming with me. Hey, no worries. There are so many smells down here, we're nev so we're never really alone, but it's nice to actually meet someone face to face, isn't it? Face to what is presumably her face. <laughs> yes. I was hoping you'd think so. I, I don't meet many other anglers. A beautiful fish like you? Are you serious? Yeah, I thought you would have been beating them off with a stick. Yeah. Or just beating them off. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Dirty bird. <laughs> <laughs> you go, girl. Not that I get bored. I never get tired of seeing the amazing things down here. Me too. What's your favourite part of the ocean? The, s the shore, where I don't have to get into it. Uh... Uh... I found an unknown creature. You described the strange remains you discovered. Whoa, I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, it was pretty cool. You know, I have heard there is another ocean beyond here. If you go straight up beyond the point where it gets painful for us, beyond the limits of this ocean. If you keep going, you'll find another ocean, one where everything... One that is everything ours is not. Whatever it is you found, maybe it came from there. Yeah, that's probably a good explanation. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a fish. Maybe. We'll never know what is really up there. You continue swimming and talking. I feel weird about this mating thing, to be honest. Word. The idea of meeting someone I trust and like enough to want uh, to want with me, and then to never get to speak to them. Yeah, that's... This is ma Now, this silly little game is making me feel really sorry for anglerfish, even though I don't think they have any sense of self. Like, n at least not in the way that we do, where we can mm. sit there and go... And come out with shit like this. Like, I but it's making me feel like... Yeah, that is kind of a miserable existence. Yeah, I, I think we might have this found... This is making me sad! I think we found an asexual anglerfish. Cool! I'll respect it. Just... I'll respect it. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. It's sad, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I know you have, uh, you have even more to worry about, but I'll, I'd miss you if you were gone. If we do this, I want you to know that I'll remember you. Thank you. I'll still be here. So we're doing this. Oh, so we are doing this. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> you don't want. You don't have to sugarcoat it. We both know this isn't something you walk away from again. <laughs> but it's a nice sentiment. Ellipses. You look famished. I'm hungry for sex. You better have something to eat. 
Oh wait, I, I've enjoyed this. I'd be happy if... She is waiting for you. This is it. Mate! <laughs> you swim up to her side, carefully choosing a spot. Carefully, you bite into her flesh and almost immediately feel the rush of warmth and the taste of blood. Oh, look at that pretty lady. <laughs> She's going to have balls on the side of her chin, though. So. Well, yeah. Already, the enzymes in your mouth are dissolving your lips and her skin, causing them to fuse together into a new fleshy lump. Ooh, you begin sexy. to drift away. So this is it. As you feel your identity slip away, you feel a presence in your mind. I'll remember you. I love you. Your last moments conscious are happy. you found someone you trust enough to give your entire being to. Congratulations, ending one. Okay. You fucking dick, Mike Joff. <laughs> that was really good, actually. That was really depressing, but actually very well written. So yeah, that's that's Ben Thick Love. We'll uh, put a link to it in the description, and uh, if you want to see what the other endings are. Yeah. And you want to get sad about fish. Yeah, it fucking sets you up for a funny game, and then you're like, oh. Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm sad. My insides, my insides are full of sorrow now. <laughs> kind of salty. I realized that every little lobster didn't have to die in the bubbling bath. Left to stew while the other little